I'm Kristen Chiller and I have a confession to make. I have a lot of screens, probably like a lot of you watching, but still I feel a little bit guilty about it. In the studio I have my laptop screen and then two external screens and one of them I switch resolution to 1080p to high resolution quite regularly when I'm making videos or I'm not making videos. Then at home I have another external screen in addition to my laptop screen that I sometimes like to have the laptop to the left and sometimes underneath. So that is one, two, three, four, at least four, I think, screen configurations. And whilst macOS makes it relatively easy to switch them, it could be easier. And that's where a wonderful tool called Display Placer comes in. This is Display Placer. It's available on GitHub. As you can see, you will need to install it with Homebrew if you don't have Homebrew installed already. Below is a link to find out more about that. It's quite a wonderful package manager for macOS. I already have it installed, so the feedback here is going to be a little limited, and I will use the reinstall command just to simulate similarish steps that you will see when you install from scratch. With that installed, there are kind of two key commands. The first one is this display placer list which will show you all of the possible configurations for all the screens you have. I have three screens here, so there's quite a long list, <laughs> and it may not all be particularly meaningful to you, but that doesn't really matter, actually, although it's interesting to see. All you really need is this bottom line here, which shows you the command that you can run to replicate the current configuration. And how do you find the current configuration? Well, that is in the display settings in macOS. And you can see the various screens I have here and how they're configured. So what I will do is simulate a different configuration at a higher resolution here, and then issue that command from above and it reproduces the arrangement that I had at that time. Okay, so far, so good. But really, issuing very long terminal commands, whilst it's slightly more convenient, it's not the most convenient way we could change display presets. So, what are some other options? First, let's take a look at Apple Shortcuts. So open that up, give the shortcut a name. It's a pretty simple shortcut and we need to issue a shell command. This gets slightly interesting here because as you can see, you could select different shells, but these don't actually reflect the active shell you might be using, which in my case is the ZSH version installed by Homebrew, as you could see above in that command output there. So what I need to do before issuing the command is add the path to Homebrew to the path for this shell used in the shortcut, and then paste the display placer command. And now, again, I will just simulate a display change, start the shortcut, and the display changes. And we can see, yep, it's changed back to the settings for that display placer preset. Great, that is Apple Shortcuts. Definitely a much more convenient way to change presets. But what if you're like me, and in addition to all these lovely screens, you also have a string deck, a great way for switching presets, especially when it is something that I'm always using when I'm making videos anyway. There is a plugin available for a stream deck that lets you trigger shortcuts. So I find that, I add the launch shortcut action, set the action I want to trigger, change the icon to something uh, vaguely more appropriate. Yeah, that'll do. And again, I'll tweak the setting, press the button on my stream deck, and voila, changes to the same display place of preset again. But maybe I would like even more flexibility in changing those presets. How about my own custom key shortcut? Or... How about I press the D key on my MIDI keyboard? Or how about, whatever your idea might be, 
there's better touch tool. So let's create, in this case, a keyboard shortcut, probably the easiest to, to manage. So select the keyboard shortcut option, a big old plus, set up what the keyboard shortcut is, then create the action, which is in this case, shell again. You could also trigger the shortcut, of course, but I'm just gonna go down the shell path for now. And again, there's the same issue with the homebrew path. So no matter what shell you use, you still have to paste in that path variable first, followed by the display placer command. Okay, again, I will just change the resolution and run the action, simulate the trigger and the resolution changes. And finally, the tool that I probably spend the most amount of time in outside of the Finder itself, and that is Raycast, a wonderful productivity tool that I've covered many times on the channel. It's kind of a drop-in replacement for Spotlight, and if you're already using it, tools like Alfred. The final option I will look at is using Raycast via the Display Placer extension. You could trigger shell commands, but it's much easier this way. So we install that from the store, search for it in Raycast. You obviously have to have Raycast installed. I already have the extension installed, naturally. When you first install it, there's a little bit of configuration. You can actually just uh, type in the name of the extension. And there we go, the help configure extension option. And it will just walk you through the various steps you need to do. You can see that I've already done all of them. And similarly to using the terminal to change, basically create new presets in the Raycast extension based on the current configuration you have. So I've recreated a lot of mine already. And so again, I will simulate a different resolution, trigger that preset, and there we go. And all Raycast commands can be tied to keyboard shortcuts and uh, other ways of triggering them too. And that's it, Display Placer plus a couple of other optional tools, should you wish to use them and have access to them, makes a wonderful way to switch display presets. I have been Christian Chiller. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a comment, please subscribe below, and you can always find out much more about me at christianchiller.com. Thank you very much for joining me and take care everybody.